Hi everyone, I'm Mr Pearce, I'm a DT teacher at Sun Village College. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial today on the basics of Google SketchUp. Um, now once you've downloaded it, it's free to download, you will have probably an icon on your desktop that looks something like this, or it might be a little house, or it might be a little pencil on a piece of paper. So I'm going to click that, and that will start the SketchUp program. Um, every time SketchUp starts up new, you'll get a screen like this. Um, now before we start using SketchUp by pressing this button, I want us to make sure we are drawing it in the correct template. Now the different templates um, have different dimensions or different types of measurement. So you will see there's loads of different types, simple ones, feet and inches, meters, not really interested in any of that. If you were drawing like a bedroom or a house or something, then you could use those. But for DT projects that are a bit smaller, I would shoot for the product design woodworking millimeters, not inches, no, 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 millimeters. So once you've selected that, you're going to press start using SketchUp, and up will come a lovely screen like this. Now, what I'm a big fan of is what's called the large tool set. So these are like lots of little tools, but if you want some more, then go to view, tool palettes, large tool set, and up come loads more tools that are going to be really useful. Okay, so that's my first top tip. Right, the next thing, the basics of SketchUp. It is a 3D drawing package, and the idea is to draw 2D shapes and then to push or pull them like into 3D objects. So let's draw a square to start with. Now, I've drawn a rough square. Happy days, nice and easy. Two-dimensional. Now I need to stretch that up into a 3D shape. So I'm going to use the push-pull tool, which is this little monkey here. I'm going to grab a surface and I'm going to stretch it up. All right, everyone happy with that? Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to learn how to move around our 3D space just as if you were turning your head to look at different angles. So hopefully your mouse has got a middle button. If you press your middle button down, you will see the little arrow head I've got turn into like some intertwining arrows, the blue ones. Now as you move your mouse around, that will spin in the space. Nice and easy. Everyone happy with that? You can do that a few times, practice that. Now let's say you want to zoom in or zoom out. You are just going to scroll the mouse, uh, the, the middle button, forwards and backwards. So I'm just doing it forwards and backwards. Forwards is obviously zoom in, backwards is zoom out. Happy days. The last one you might need to know about is panning. Now to pan, I'm going to hold my middle button down, and I'm also going to press the shift key, which is the key with the arrow on it, and that is going to turn my little thing into a hand, and now I can move side to side. So those are all very, very handy things, and you'll be using those a lot when you are doing the SketchUp stuff. Okay, so I've drawn my simple shape. I've moved around the space. I'm working in millimetres. Everyone is living the dream so far. Let's, let's do a few extra bits and pieces just in this first basic one. Now, I've drawn a big 3D shape. I can also drill ha drill holes or combine shapes or put shapes onto it. So if I wanted to draw a ho drill a hole, I'd put my circle onto one of the sides. See that? Easy peasy. And if I want to drill my hole all the way through, I get my push-pull tool again. And now I'm going to go all the way back. Okay. Uh-oh. Now that's not ideal. Why has it done that? Well, what we need to do when we push it or pull it, if we see we need it to, to be on the face, can you see the little thing that says on the face? Now that means the hole is stopping at that face. So if I now release, you can see I've got a hole all the way through my thing. I can go all the way through it. If I'm a bit of a fancy pants. No, oh, it doesn't like that very much. Now if you ever get a bit confused, um, you're going a bit all over the place and you, you're zooming and things are getting a bit you know, like you're upside down if you just press this magnifying glass the one with the little arrows next to it that will take you back so your design fills your magnifying glass so if I was to spin around I'm getting very lost I don't know where I am ah, and this can happen all the time oh no I don't know where I am I can't see my shape oh no nightmare if I then just press that button bang there's my, there's my shape back again. Happy days. Very, very handy tip. Right. Now, you're not just going to be drawing squares with holes drilled in them. You're probably going to want to do some fancy shapes. So let's say now I want to draw 
I want to like cut a triangle off this edge. In SketchUp, there's really loads of little handy like snap to tools. So can you see, this means I'm on the face, little blue dot. If I go on an edge, I've got a red dot. If I'm in the middle of a side, whoop, can you see it goes midpoint? That's real handy. So you know you are halfway down this line. That is really, really important. So there I go. Let's say I want to draw, draw a triangle to the midpoint on that side. Now, whenever you see these little dots, that means that's a face. Okay, so I could pull this one out, or I could push that one back. Again, I'm snapping to the edge on that, and that will give me a shape like this. Everyone happy so far? I can also do other things. I could draw a circle like this, or a curve, nice and easy. Whoopsie, that looks pretty cool. And again, I can now cut through my shape, leaving me with a slightly fancier 3D object. All right, everyone happy with that so far? We're going to pretty much leave that there for this first tutorial because it's just a taster. So again, what we've learned is how to open a template in millimetres, how to draw a very simple 2D shape and stretch it into a 3D shape. We've learned how to cut away things, so we've learned how to drill a hole, cut off a triangle. We've also learned how to draw a curve. So that will just about do us for today. I hope you've enjoyed the first one. Come back next time for something a little bit more taxing. Thank you.